Okay, so I had finished the um the double cat eye and um basically all I did to finish it was um anytime you use any type of liquid or smudge pot for eyeliner, you want to set it with black eyeshadow. So, um I have this L'Oreal um hip duos. I don't even think they make these anymore, but it has a, ooh, can't get it open, okay. It has um, this black in it, and I just used a little brush and went over it to set it. And then um, I did the same thing to my lash line, and then I had used um, my um, Maybelline I expert eyeliner um I've been using this forever it's you could at Walgreens CVS anywhere it is like the best like eyeliner I have ever found in my life it was actually um something my mom used ever since I was little so I just started using it and trust me it's like the best thing ever um and then um to make your eye look a little bit more brighter and um to like kind of give it like highlight like right I don't know if you could see it in like the brow line I use highbrow by benefit and it's just this let me see I don't want to glare this pink stick and you just put it on and then you just kind of blend in with your finger you could put as little or as much on as you want to um I don't put that much on because um you think you got like big bug eyes anyways to begin with and also what I did really quick was um I did the Barbie eye. I didn't do it as dark as I usually would. Um, hopefully that gives you a little view of what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. There's the cat line. And basically um, the colors for what I used for that. Um, I have this um, LA Colors palette. Um, I had used... Um, where you can see um, the pink I had used the pink and then for the smoky eye um, Barbie really does it up blue um, I used this um, cover girl ugh, cover girl indigo but like I said um, I really didn't want it to look so much like Barbie because um, that's kind of a lot and she is a doll she's not real um but it is a cute idea you know um i know michelle fawn whoever the hell she is um she did one and it was wickedly whorish looking um maybe for halloween hers would be kind of cool but um yeah and also i had used um the still loves barbie smudge pot to do the blue um cat eye and also, I went across my eye, but um, another little thing about Barbie is, besides using the blue eyeliner, she also uses black. So you want to do the blue kind of thick, and then get as close as your lash line. I mean, seriously, get up in that lash line and um, use black um, liquid eyeliner. I don't suggest using the smudge because you can really, really get mess the blue part up. So what I used was the Maybelline. I'm getting like a glare here um i used this maybelline ultra liner and it's waterproof so i used that and like i said i did the smoke eye and then um i also used um you can't really tell that there's a lot in the highlight but what i did was with the la colors i used this blue color right here and I blended it in like right up here my brow, uh, my brow bone and then I took the highbrow and I just like went like and then just blended it all in um and also um I don't know why but um Barbie has um a brown waterline and she does not wear like black eyeliner so what I did was um using my um that little like um tart brush that I have I have a mess going on right here so I cannot find that but um I had showed it when I did the double cat eye 
um i used that and i used the um tart smudge pot it's the brown one looks like that i'll open it so you can get a better view it's kind of shimmery and it's just called bronze so i did my waterline with that and then like in the lash line with that and then after that um since barbie doesn't use eyeliner and i feel kind of weird without wearing eyeliner um makes me feel naked that's like one of my like must haves when i do makeup is to have eyeliner on um usually i don't use white eyeliner but i had to use something and i knew i couldn't use black and i didn't want to do too much brown so i just did my waterline lightly with this um sephora brand white eyeliner um if i would have used because of how my eyes are shaped and how big they are if i would have went really heavy with it i mean you can probably like see it like a little bit if i would have went too heavy with it, it would have made my eyes look like super super huge and i always try to avoid that because um in like mid 2005 and this is a long time ago um i was trying to get into modeling and stuff but um i got rejected a lot because i was too short and they said that i had bug eyes which fuck them whatever cost me like a thousand dollars to do the pictures and all that stuff would waste the money and get the clothes and everything so i personally i don't recommend it um i lost to a six-year-old who was wearing butterfly wings for a photo contest it was so disappointing but anyways i got the sephora off of amazon for like five bucks but you go in the store and get it i don't think it's too much more money i didn't check out the price the sephora we have is really kind of like dinky and small but way better than ulta i like the sephora that i went to with my friend morgan that i believe was in tinley park and they had like the whole hello kitty collection and stuff love that sephora if i had money i would still go there maybe i'll save up and um ooh, do a haul i don't know i could do hauls on clothes i could do hauls on anything if anybody ever wants to see any of those but and then um okay so back to the barbie look i did the eyeliner and then lastly on both eyes i had used um the uh the lancome doll lashes um and like I said before, you don't really, it has a nice brush to it. You really don't need to invest and spend a ridiculous amount on an eyeliner. Like I said, you just want to invest in a good lipstick and a good um, foundation cover up, like all that stuff. Um, I used that and then I um, curled my eyelashes. Um, I curled them, I heat this up with a blow dryer first. And before I put mascara on, I curl my lashes. Then I put mascara on, let it dry, curl again. Then I put more mascara on, let that dry, warm this up again, and then curl it again. I don't know if you can really, like, see my eyelashes, like, all that good. Because, um, I noticed a lot, like, from my personal experience and watching other YouTube videos, um... When you do a, a like a heavy like cat eye or anything like that, um, if you wear fake eyelashes and especially if you wear the wrong kind, it really takes away from the effect and how it looks. So I just try to avoid it. And um, when you're putting mascara on your lower lash line, you want to stop like right about like like mid eye. You don't want to like do all of your lower lashes because if you just do the side ones and i don't do it up heavy i mean you can if you want you can do this up heavier and with the barbie look i mean you can like play with it make it as dark as you want you could use more pink maybe some more brown i didn't the only picture i had of her was um this and it's like hologrammed so i was just working with that really quick i know um before i did um a really quick photo shoot um with a blonde wig and i actually um had found a really nice um barbie makeup to bleh, barbie makeup tutorial but for legal reasons or whatever i had to block all my pictures on um facebook so if anyone is interested in seeing them i can pull one of the pictures up just so you can get an idea of how the other style looks so um, I didn't do any of the lipsticks, um, for the Barbie, um, 
if you're gonna do like the Barbie look like the blues and like the pinks and stuff like that I really recommend the Lady Gaga pink Viva Glam and for this um, double cat eye I really recommend using um it doesn't say what brand it is because the thing fell off but it's color 968 I want to say it was cover girl or Maybelline but it's a really nice red it's not too red it's not like hooker red or anything and I also um I believe this was discontinued as well but you can still find discontinued um items on Amazon this is the hip um by L'Oreal and it's the jelly bomb and it's red and that works just as good as a lipstick too just depending on your preference and on what you want and even you know you don't want to go to Sephora and you want the white eyeliner like I also have the um wet and wild um when it comes to makeup and stuff you really just want to make sure like with eyeshadows and stuff um I know um if you watched my video number five it seems like a lot of expensive stuff I really you know I explained in the video how I get a lot of it but there's nothing wrong with using wet and wild LA colors NYX anything like that um just make sure that you know you have brushes and that you you know keep up with cleaning them and um you practice applying the eye makeup and stuff and just play around with it and um have fun because um that's what I do with um a lot of my time um so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video um if you want to see a cat eye design like they had it in a commercial like you know where it's like like swirled and it just like looks like some kind of like design and it kind of goes up into here I can do that um any type of makeup tutorials if there's um some type of character you want to see anything like that I know I did Snow White before like I said I did Barbie um so yeah, if there's something you want me to do, um, I have no problem. I would be more than happy to do videos. Um, so just let me know. Um, I will post this on my YouTube and it will also be on my Facebook. So if you want to see something, just leave a comment. If you think it sucks, just say, hey, stop making your videos. Um, find me offensive then because I smoke and swear or whatever, then just don't watch them. But um, I'm open to negative comments, good comments. It's not like, you know... I haven't been called everything in the book already. So, well, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this nonetheless. And let me know what you would like me to do for next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.